Hello everybody, hello from Switzerland. Look at this view. This morning I woke up in a different country though. Let's go back and start from the beginning. This is the border with Switzerland. I have no idea if I have to stop. People are not stopping. Well, that was easy. I'm in Switzerland. Good morning everyone from the little town of Meride. Looks like a pretty cool town. So right now I'm trying to find the trail to the Monte San Giorgio that I believe it's that one up there. That's why I'm here, why I'm in this uh, little town this morning. I don't know if this is the way but it's definitely going up. Sunrise is happening all around me, as you can see. This is the first sunrise, real sunrise, I see more than a month. It's been raining and cloudy, which I love, by the way, but it's nice to have a sunrise every once in a while. I'm missing it. I'm not at the top just yet. I don't even know if I'm on the right trail, but the point of being here was not to be here for sunrise. I'm here this early just because I need the time. I don't have much time today. At this time of the year, the sunset is so early that I only have a few hours to spend here in Switzerland. I have many spots to hit, so let's keep going. Sounds like there are hunters around here, which gives me a lot of confidence uh, being here in this forested area. No, it doesn't. You might be wondering, what the heck is he doing in Switzerland? I feel like I owe you an update about what I've been up to. Oh. So, as usual, nothing went according to plan on this trip. I changed my mind a lot, but this time I was forced to. We were going to be three weeks in Austria, but we had to leave early because the snow came way earlier than I was expecting. I didn't have the car or the equipment to be driving through mountain passes. I couldn't reach any of the spots that I wanted to visit. I couldn't go to the Dolomites as I wanted to. So we decided to leave early and it was the right call because right after we left a big snowstorm came and pretty much rendered the mountain pass we went through the day before. It was covering snow, we would never have made it with our car through there that day. But in the end it was all good because we got to spend some time next to Lago di Garda in Trentino. I didn't know about that place and it was a nice surprise, it was beautiful and I had a great time there. It's been a month since I left Spain. We have only two weeks left on this fall trip. This is one of the two destinations that we have left. We are very close to Varese in northern Italy, a little bit farther west, pretty close to Milano. 
There are quite a few spots around Varese that I wanted to visit and Switzerland was one of them. I mean, it's half an hour away by car, so I had to. I found this place, Mount San Giorgio, in Google Maps and it looks like it has an amazing view from the top of Lugano and Lake Lugano. So I've made it to the top. This is beautiful, isn't it? Look at this view. There are mountains as far as the eye can see. This is a good example of how a great view doesn't always make for great images. I'm really struggling to find something here. I've been taking low exposures, hoping that they could do the trick, but they don't. Everything's too far away. There are not even clouds today or not enough. So yeah, if I want to make some good images today, I think it's going to be down there from the town of uh, Lugano. I'm heading back down now and don't get me wrong about what I said up there. It was a beautiful place. It was totally worth it to hike up here. I really enjoyed the, this walk. But it was just not the time to make an image from up there. It's more important to have the right conditions in a less than ideal place than to have the right place in less than ideal conditions, if that makes sense. This will depend on how you photograph, what you are trying to do, what you're trying to achieve with your photography. Uh, in my opinion, what I try to do is to tell the stories with uh, my images that create some mystery and drama. And uh, that is very hard to do in panoramic vistas like this one because it gives up everything. It shows clearly what is going on. There is a lot of stuff, a lot of mountains. There is no clear anchor. There is no clear subject. There is no weather helping like clouds or fog isolating a subject that could tell a story. It could be anything like a mountain peeking through the clouds or fog creating drama in a beautiful forest like this one, something. But today was very, very flat and nothing was really happening. Okay, I'm back in the car. It's uh, 11 in the morning. That means that I have six hours left of daylight. Should be plenty enough to go to Lugano and make some images there. First, second breakfast after this uh, six to seven mile hike. So for those who don't know, Switzerland is uh, one of the very few European countries that are not part of the European Union. It's a little bit confusing because it is part of the Schengen area. What that means for me today here is that I'm free to come here. The border was pretty much open, but they don't use euros. They have the Swiss franc. I don't have any of those. So I'm hoping that if I have to buy something, I can use my credit cards or they can take euros. But what affects me the most today is that my mobile carrier does not offer free roaming in Switzerland the way it does in the European Union. I think it's 10 euros for a meg. Uh, it's something really crazy. So I have data turned off and that is bad on one hand because I can't look anything up. I can't do any research. I can't let anyone know that I'm still alive. But on the other hand, it's good because I'm disconnected. I can focus on actual experience in this place, on capturing images, on making these 
video. So I'm more focused on that. And every once in a while, it's good to be disconnected. I just hope that I don't have any problems and I need to call for help because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I, if I am able to, it's gonna cost me a lot of money. Okay, so this is much more like it. I'm at Lake Lugano, just out of the town of Lugano in another little town called Melide, and this is beautiful. You can see that is Mount Giorgio, that's where I hiked to this uh, morning, and this is uh, something that I can work with. I'm taking a lot of exposures from here, it looks uh, beautiful, I'm not gonna analyze the photo but the, the, being able to blur out the water and using the silhouette of the mountains for me it creates that drama and that mystery that i'm looking for in my images and that tells more a story than the view that i had from up there i've made a huge mistake i don't know how this happened but i left most of my batteries at home and i only have one fully charged battery left so i'm here at the car charging the battery in camera is probably not going to be enough or fast enough but it's better than nothing and yeah at least i have this option i guess So this was uh, pretty cool. As I said, when I was on top of uh, one of those uh, mountains, I had better chances to make images down here at the lake, and that was the case. I made a few that I really like. Uh, that is uh, the rest of Lake Lugano. It ends not too far from here. This place is called Gandria. I drove here and it looks amazing, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing any more photography today. First, because uh, I only have half an hour left of daylight. Second, because I'm exhausted. I woke up at five in the morning today. I've been driving and I went on that hike this morning and then walking a lot in Lugano. It's been a lot of walking, it's been a long day. I think it's been enough. I've made a few images that I like. I don't know about this video. It's been a little bit chaotic. Anyway, I hope you still enjoyed the video and the images. I don't know how I'm going to be uploading this video because the place where we are staying in Varese has terrible Wi-Fi. But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching again and see you in the next one.